This Monday, Martin Luther King Day will be celebrated in Berea with a march and speakers, as well as a lunch and other events. WBON TV went down to Berea College's campus to speak to those in charge of the event, as well as some of the students involved to get an inside look at how the day was made possible and get insight into the schedule of events. That was one of my job assignments when I took the position here at Berea, that we would bring back the Martin Luther King Day celebration. So beginning in my first year here, we've done it, and we've continued to do it each year very successfully. It's gotten bigger and bigger each year. Well, Berea College is very fortunate to have a long history involved with the civil rights movement. And actually, in, on the March on Selma, we had over 50 uh, Berea College students who actually marched with Dr. King from uh, Selma to Montgomery. So in addition to our long history of being involved in the civil rights movement and race and inclusion policy from our founding, it's just a tradition that fits very well with what we try to do here at the center. We march from Union. We may go to Christian Church. This year we're going to the Gray Auditorium where we will hear from our keynote speaker for the morning, which is uh, the director of the uh, Food Network in Detroit, who talks about race, food, and justice. We forget about how poverty and food affects how we think and vote and work. For the march, we have gone from maybe 30 or 40. Now we have about two to 300 to show up. We start playing this back in December because we know when, we, when classes begin, we have you know, a very short week to actually um, get this off the ground. So typically every year we actually do a march. So we're meeting at Union Church at 9.30 and we will have songs led by the Black Music Ensemble under the direction of Dr. Kathy Bullock. It is an all day, there are no classes, but the day is filled with activities for our students because it's not a day off. It really is a day for students to be mindful of one, you know, the MLK holiday is the only holiday, national holiday, that honors an African American. And for many of our students, they were born after the actual holiday was, you know, signed off and approved by Ronald Reagan. So it is this idea of keeping them in tune with the history which is kind of appropriate for Berea College, which is this whole, you know, interracial, co-educational college of the South. So for me, it's just a continuation of our great commitments at Berea College, but our students are involved from the planning to the lining up of the marching to introducing the speakers. I mean, at every point of the program, we will have students involved because you don't become a leader by watching, you become a leader by doing. And so we really want to ensure our students are involved from beginning to end of the program. I'll be helping to organize the people once we get there um, and helping to maintain order as we proceed with our demonstration. During the PM session, uh, we will be having a reception with two of the speakers. We'll be having a reception with the speakers afterwards. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to hear of their uh, perspective on a lot of issues. When I was a student here the first time, I didn't participate. So um, I didn't get that experience of, of helping with the event, but not being associated with the event. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to, to helping out again. My freshman year, I was, I was here, I loved it. I think it's like a great opportunity for all of us to just like learn our history and then learn how we can move forward and also bring change uh, through the work of, the work that MLK and also people in his time and before him tried to bring forward and so it was yeah I've I started working in the center my sophomore year so I've been helping coordinate this event and it's just like it's nice to be on that side of things and just see seeing how things come together with performers as well as just like how the community comes it's it's just really beautiful just to see like our campus community and also the surrounding community just like commence on this whole day. This is the 50th anniversary uh, for MLK, like his assassination. It's really powerful, at least for me now, to think about like what, how does like, what does this mean for us, and especially in the times that we're in, and like how we move forward with his message ultimately. Regardless of the adversities that you might have with someone because of like their background, like this is a day where you kind of almost let that go and you're just like, hey, we are talking about equality. We're talking about what it means to be free and like freely move through this society. And so it's like, it's yeah, it's really awesome to just be here for that. The day begins at 9.30 at Union Church with the march beginning at 10 a.m. Speakers will continue into the evening with the keynote speakers and reception at 4.30. Stay tuned with WBONTV.com to get coverage of both Berea and Richmond's marches. For WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel.